Hey folks, Brendan here with Tinker Gaming, and we are once again back in the Gungeon. Now, uh, hopefully I'll be able to get a little bit farther than I did last time. I think uh, I did a little bit of research, and I think there's there's like five or six floors to the Gungeon. So it's sort of like the Binding of Isaac. There isn't a whole lot of floors. So obviously, you know, I don't have to go like 600 floors down or anything like that. So hopefully, it, maybe in one of these videos, I can promise it'll be this one. One of these videos, I'll be able to get down to the end of the dungeon, and you guys will be able to see what's down there, and, and I'll be able to see what's down there because I haven't been able to to see that myself either. So I think what I'm going to do is instead of doing a time lapse like I've normally been doing when I uh, what is what the hell is this? Rolling eye back at you. What, how do I? I don't even remember how to open my inventory. It's been a while since I played. Uh, rolling through bullets rebounds them towards their owners. Despite his many failings, Sir Manuel is one of the finest dodge rollers ever to enter the Gungeon Halls. This eye is almost purely composed of dodgeocyte, a rare material that reacts strangely near bullets. That sounds like it could be badass. Anyway, as I was saying, what I'm going to do, instead of just doing the speed run where I, where I time-lapse all the, the floor together, uh, I, I'm trying to... Ah, oh, Jesus! Stupid grenade. Anyway, where I, where I, where I time-lapse everything together, I'm, going to, uh, I'm just going to cut straight to the bosses, and we're just going to sort of do a boss run this time around. All right, we're about to go into the first boss, and I've come to the realization that the little eye that I picked up earlier is simultaneously the best and the worst item at all, ever. Because while it's really, really nice to be able to reflect the bullets back at your attackers, it kind of makes you a little careless. It makes you want to dodge roll into everything, and you wind up getting hit. So that's why I'm, I'm actually down a full, full heart this time, you'll see here. Yeah, I'm down a full heart going into the first boss, which isn't a great start, but... Uh, who are we playing with? The twins? Yep, the twins. So, we have gotten pretty good at killing the twins. I think, anyway. We've got a regular shotgun. I, uh, I actually purchased it instead of a key. Because I love the shotgun, and I, I didn't want a chance the RNG giving me something really shitty instead of the shotgun. The, the shop had the shotgun, and it was the same price as a key. So, I decided to go pick up the shotgun instead of the key. Because... Like I said earlier, I, I didn't want a chance to RNG giving me something completely random. Ugh, almost got hit there, sorry. Trying to concentrate. Uh, yeah, see the eye, the problem with the eye is that it makes you want to dodge roll into things so that you can reflect them back. And you wind up forgetting where your iframes are and you wind up getting hit. It is good for the occasional time where you have to dodge roll though. And you know that you can, uh, see, damn it, see there, I, I tried to dodge roll into the bullets. To reflect them back, and I wound up dodge rolling into the boss and getting hit. Doesn't matter, I killed him anyway. We got some health there. Gets us more than we had when we first got in there. Let's see what this gun is. What is all this? Did it, okay, it's just pieces of the guys. Uh, what is this? The Dungeon Eagle. Let's check her out. A uh, powerful, unwieldy handgun can't be charged for more power. A favorite more for its image than its efficiency, the Dungeon Eagle is capable of delivering massive, dam massive damage. Not terribly accurate, but highly memorable. Looks nice. We'll uh, we'll test it out and see how it goes. But for now, we're heading for the second boss. All right, we actually found a cell key and a cell with this little strange guy in it. So we're gonna pop in here and see what this guy has to say. Wingdings. Yeah, I have no idea. Okay. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, we're gonna pop in here and buy this piece of health real quick. Boop. Just give me a little bit more. I picked up a void shotgun, which is essentially just a regular shotgun with less uh, less of a clip and slower moving rounds, but I think it does a little bit more damage, so it's a good trade-off. Oh, what the hell is that? We're going into the second boss, if you couldn't tell. The Evil Eye Beholster. He's got all kinds of crazy shit on. Alright, no problem. We can take care of this guy. Oh, Jesus. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Okay, so he does spawn ads. And he shoots rockets. No problem. And he shoots giant eye beams. Also no problem. I don't like this guy. He's got a lot going on. He's Sorry I'm not talking, but I'm, I'm really trying to concentrate so I don't die horribly. I got hit again, which sucks. Where's my regular shotgun at?
There we go. That's more like it. Damn it. They hit again. I killed him, though, and that's what counts. He had a whole lot going on with his freaking... Oh my god, what is that rifle? It looks amazing. Poor little dude was crying, and I shot him in the face for his troubles. What is this? The Hexagon? Can transmogrify foes. The Hexagon was created by a vengeful gunjurer after his apprentices were slain by a gunjurer wielding the humble bundle of wands. I don't know what it does. I, I want to find out, though. I want to find out what it does. Uh, we managed to get back to as much health as we had when we were fighting him, though, so it, it wasn't a totally wasted boss fight. Um, I'll skip ahead to the third floor boss as soon as I try out this hexagon, because I really want to see what it does. It just killed him. It didn't, it didn't do anything. Oh my god, it's powerful as shit, though. Alright, I like this thing. Anyway, let's get to the boss. No! I was doing so good. All right, first boss coming up. All right, we're about to go back into the first boss, but first I wanted to show you what items I wound up with in this floor. Um, the semi-automatic machine gun t-shirt cannon, which sucks. I got the vote of confidence. The ballot is proof of participation in the democratic process. PSA, voting is cool no matter what anyone says, which is true. You should always vote. That being said, it's a completely useless item in the gungeon, and I just got the sawed-off shotgun, which I don't know if I've ever actually had sawed off before, so we'll see who the first boss is. It is the Gatling Gull, so uh, let's kick his ass. All right, but we just kicked the shit out of the Gatling Gull. You'll notice I got my uh, mastery thing here because I didn't get hit at all. I got two shields out of that, which is awesome. Only a single hegemony credit, but no big deal. And we got the master round first chamber. Which I don't remember what that does, but I don't really care. The unfinished gun still warm. What are you do? The gun is still in the process of being forged. It barely functions in its current state. Could be a viable choice in a truly desperate situation. Small hourglass is embossed in the cylinder. What does that, what does that mean? God, I keep it in escape. I guess maybe if I just let it sit, it'll, uh, it'll eventually start working right again? I don't know. Anyway, let's see if we can make it to the second floor boss. Alright, we are going to the second boss and we have pretty much nothing for items, so we're gonna be using our uh We're gonna be using our regular sidearm, which really sucks, but it's what we got, so. The solid off shotgun is terrible. It's highly inaccurate. It does decent damage, but you have to be so close to him to do it that most of the time it just winds up getting you hit because you are so close to him, damn it. I also have to start remember to using my uh my blanks more often because they do reset every floor, so there's there's no reason not to use them in times when there's a whole lot of bullets on screen. That being said, I'm already out of blanks on this floor, so it didn't really do me a whole lot of good. Alright, so you know what? It might actually be... Wait, is there a... Is there a priest dude in here? That's usually what the green thing means, is that there's a priest dude that's like giving him a buff. I don't see one, though. Anyway, the sawed off might actually be okay against the Amaconda here, since he's so big. Doesn't matter where I shoot, I'm still gonna pretty much hit him, so... I think we will do that. Yeah, yeah, Sawdoff's doing great against him. Not so good against single enemies, but I also have this uh, this Helix gun, which oh, will also actually do really well against this guy because of how it fires. If you notice the bullets like do this weird arc thing, it makes it really hard to hit single targets, but against a guy this big, I believe it's actually going to work out well. Damn it. I knew that one was going to hit me, but I couldn't really do anything about it. Just so many bullets on the screen. This guy puts out so. Oh, did I get him? Oh yeah, I got him. Huh? Piece of cake. He puts out so many bullets on the screen. All right, here we get a heart. Get our shield. Get this thing. What? What is this? Explosive rounds. Ooh, that's interesting. We also found. Let me pop right over here and show you guys what we found. Maybe. Yeah, we found this cell right here that we can't seem to open. Oh, we can. Okay, I had a key now. So I had a heart in it. It also has a chest with another piece of heart. Okay. So we're back up to full health with a shield, which is excellent. Excellent. Hopefully we'll be able to get through the... Uh... How do I use the explosive rounds? All right, let me show you the items I got real quick. Uh, we got the Helix gun. Inspired by real science, the Helix is extremely useful for hitting two things at once, as long as they are a certain distance apart. It's, it's really hard to shoot. Um, we got this thing. Resonates with gun-dead corpses, causing them to explode. 
The rock is a testament to one poor soul whose agony was so great that it still echoes in the bodies of the freshly deceased. Then we got the Mega Blast. Add small explosive charges to some shots fired. So, eh. Could be good. Decent items, I guess. I, I still haven't really found any great weapons, but hopefully we'll be able to get to the third floor no problem this time around. What the hell is this? Break the targets, win a prize. They called me Winchester, and for you, I have a simple game of skill. Would you like to know the rules? Play this game, you have to break the targets on a certain number of shots. Each shot will ricochet a few times before vanishing. Break more targets to get a better reward. <laughs> break the targets, win a prize. I don't... Yeah, I don't have enough money to actually play. Yeah, they won't break unless I got the money to play. Well, that kind of sucks. I wanted to play. Oh, well. Back to the grind. All right, well, here I am going into the boss, and I barely have any health left. This has been an absolutely terrible, terrible floor for me. Looks like we're fighting the tank again. No big deal. Yeah, it's been a terrible, terrible floor for me. I did really good up until, like, the last couple rooms of the floor, and then I just absolutely got slaughtered. I, I lost all my health, all my armor. I've gotten crap for weapons. As a matter of fact, I really haven't gotten any weapons. I got a frost amulet, which has a chance to freeze, which is kind of nice, I guess, but... Oh, God. Blank. But yeah, I, I'm probably going to die on this boss, guys. I, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to wind up having to start back over, run through the bosses once again, and see if I can finally make it to the bottom of the dungeon this time around. It's just been, it's been a crap run for me. You know, the random number generator has not been kind to me at all. See, I'm dead. I knew I was going to die. Um, see if I do any better. All right, we're going in the first boss. We've got full health and shield, which is awesome. And I picked up this gun, the Scrambler. Scrambler fires unhatched bullet eggs upon close to hat each close to hatching. Upon impact, a swarm of newborn bullets is released, hungry for their first meal. So, sounds like an interesting gun. Uh, the twins again. Okay, no problem here. We're gonna we're gonna use our scrambler because why not? It does a shit ton of damage. That's awesome. Oh my god, I love this gun. Plank. I got to remember to use my planks. I don't use them nearly enough. They reset every floor. There's no reason not to use them, especially on boss fights. You know. I don't know if these things like actually seek out the targets. Oh! That blank was perfect timing. I want to try to get the mastery of this floor again. I like getting mastery because it makes me feel important. It makes me feel like I actually know what I'm doing. Alright, let's see here. We got the shield, we got the extra heart, we got the mastery. And dang it, we don't have enough coins. There, there was another chest down here that I didn't get to open. But oh well. I needed 25, uh, 25 shell casings to get the key to open it, but it doesn't matter. We're doing really good. We got an extra heart, we got two shields, we got our kick-ass gun for bosses anyway, and hopefully it'll it'll help us survive to the next boss. Hello, who are you? I don't know if I want to let you out of your cage. You look terrifying. You freed me. Why? Is that all she's going to say? All right, she's not going to say anything else. Anyway, back to the boss. Alright, we are going into the second boss. We haven't gotten any new weapons or anything, but look how much armor we have! We have four pieces of armor. Hey, it's this guy again. Eh, I might need all that armor for this, uh... This guy. We'll use our egg gun because it's awesome against bosses. It does a huge amount of damage. Which I like. And hopefully we'll be able to kill this guy somewhat easily. Blank. I want to go back to this gun. Alright, I gotta switch back to my regular gun to shoot the missiles down because the the egg gun doesn't really do too good for that. But if we just keep up the volley here. Dang it, took one of my armors down. Oh well. No matter. Took another one of my armors down. I gotta pay attention. Alright, he's dead. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter that I lost two armors. I still I'm still up two armors, so. So we're uh, we're golden there. That looks like a mini gun. Let's kill that guy. Screw that guy. Is that <gasps> Vulcan cannon? Favored by huge predatory birds that nest in gun. This is the gun that the, uh, the Gatling gull had. Guys, this this marks a new chapter in Gungeon history. We're about to destroy everything. Who are you? Hey, old friend, and well met. What brings you to this gun dungeon? You know why I'm here. Uh, I'm not quite certain what you mean. You must be here to kill your past, correct? 
Manny says hi. Ah, I see. You understand I won't just roll over, right? I do. Well then, look out behind you. Oh my god, that's the dude that killed, um, uh, Sir Manuel. Alright, so we're ready to go back in here. Um, a couple things have happened. I came across a mimic chest and it completely kicked my ass. Like, 100% kicked my ass. Um, I also fed my, my, uh, I, I found like a mermaid gun and I fed it in the egg scrambler. And I got the QQ, or the tear jerker rather, which fires tears with momentum. If you read the tooltip, it's, it's actually quite funny. Um, this grotesque gun is made of eyeballs bound together in a gun-like shape. Tears are a surprisingly effective projectile for exploring dungeons. Get it because of the binding of Isaac? Um, I've also come to the conclusion that the Vulcan cannon is amazing. It seems my past has caught up with me. So this is the guy that killed Sir Manuel. Time to kill it. Holy crap. Oh, there's one of those guys, too. Oh my god, there's so many bullets on the screen. It's okay, I got the Vulcan cannon. So he kind of shoots the same pattern as the knight guys. Which he kind of looks like a knight, so that kind of makes a little sense. Yeah, it's Blockner. Blockner was his name. That's what... I couldn't remember his name, but... It's Blockner. Just in case you were wondering. This is the guy that stabbed Sir Manuel in back. Ack. That hurt. I don't know if, if, if I beat him, if he's the only boss. Uh, uh, he was kind of in like a secret room off to the side by the shop. He needs to quit hitting me, though. It's getting really annoying. I can do it. I just got to keep shooting. Damn. He just puts out so many projectiles. He's kicking my ass. Nah, I almost got him. He's almost dead. Yeah, yeah. Die, Blockner. All nuts. All right, let's see what I got here. We got a shield, we got a couple of hedge money credits. Bested by a disciple of Manny. Humiliating. I guess there really was something to that dodge roll he was always on about. What I don't understand is why the bullets don't hit you. It really looks like they should. Uh, I guess I'll head back to the breach. All right, that was... Dude, that's cool. That was actually a tough... Oh my god, and then like I still have to fight the boss after that? Are you kidding me? Uh, is there anything in the... I can buy ammo. I don't really need ammo, though. I need health. Alright, let's, uh... Let's refill the Vulcan Cannon. We'll use our ammo drop, our active, active item here. And let's see what the boss that we actually have to fight is. This is new. I haven't fought this guy. He looks terrifying. Guns in the Deep Cannon Balrog. Heh, <laughs> Balrog. Get it? Alright, Vulcan cannon the shit out of it. That hurt. I got too close to him. Oh my god, I used all my uh, my blanks on freaking Blockner. That's okay, I think I could get this guy. He's, he's already to half health. And the Vulcan cannon just provides pretty much a steady stream of fire. So as long as I can keep him getting cornered like that, I should be okay. Yeah, I got him. He was, he's almost dead. He's almost dead. Got him. Piece of cake. Took a lot of damage, but piece of cake nonetheless. I really wish, like I said, I, I was doing really good until I found a mimic, and he just he just beat to death. What's this? Shadow bullets? What are shadow bullets? Fires additional projectiles. These umbral bullets hide in the shadows of other bullets, waiting for the right time to strike. So does that mean... Oh yeah, see, every now and then it like shoots another bullet. That'll be really, really handy with the Vulcan Cannon, because I put out a lot of bullets with that thing. Alright, so we are going down to the fourth floor of the dungeon for, I think, only the second time. I've I've been playing this for a while, guys. I'm not going to lie. Y'all are getting the best of it, but I've, I've been playing this for, for quite a while. Um, let's try the Tear Cannon. I don't know how good it actually is. Oh my god, it's, what is this? Look at how many projectiles are here. Holy crap. Alright, well there goes my freaking shield. Oh my god, the fourth floor sucks. I already don't like it. And this is the first room of the fourth floor. And it's already kicking my butt. It's not a good start, guys. It's not a good start at all. Alright, the tear gun isn't particularly accurate. We're going to go back to the sidearm for now. Because it's, it's very accurate. Oh, goodness. 
Alright, we haven't actually played the fourth war, so I'm probably not gonna time lapse all this. Which, if if you're if you've seen the fourth floor up to this point, obviously I'm not gonna time lapse it. Hopefully I'll be able to make it through the fourth floor. I, I'm quite doubtful though, judging by how hard the first room has been. It was a little bit of a nightmare. I'm not gonna lie. I could swap to my Vulcan cannon, but I kind of want to save that just in case I actually. You know what? No, no, we're just gonna go with the Vulcan cannon. We need to. There should be a cultist somewhere. Yeah, see him over there. Alright, we got the big guy. So now I'll switch back to the sidearm. I want to know why these guys' bullets are a different color. Ah, screw it. Just stick with the freaking... Oh, right, poison. The tearjerker thing stops poison effects. So, probably a good idea to use that gun in this particular instance. Like I said, I don't know how much actual damage it does. It seems to do a decent amount of damage. Which, I mean, it's, it's kind of a play on Binding of Isaac, so I don't know why it wouldn't. You know, considering tears are what you fight with the entire time in there. This floor already sucks. Well, eligible text is offer. The rest is blank. Walk away. Well, I apparently don't have anything to offer, so to hell with that. All right, let's see what else we've got here. Yeah, see, the tearjerker just isn't very accurate sucks because it seems to do a decent amount of damage but I just can't really justify using it when I'm so much more accurate with my sidearm which is the point of the sidearm I guess is that it's extremely accurate I hate these little guys ah all right apparently the red bullets do double damage well we had a decent run we got a whole bunch of stuff let's uh no nah, I didn't want to quick start I wanted to go back to the breach and see if Blockner's there so let's do that. Let's let's go back to the breach and see if we got anything new. Uh, we still want the marine. What is this? That's interesting. I don't really care what you have to say. I want to see if, if Blockner's down here with Sir Manuel now. You got Blockner! Vengeance is mine! You gave me sweet revenge and I'll never forget it. I'm still trapped here for all eternity, but at least I have my revenge and that's what's most important. Maybe I'll follow you out this time. Well, no, I'll donate this to the Gungeon's Acquisitions Department for you. It's my favorite. Now leave me to bask in righteous vengeance. What was he gonna donate? Onward to greatness. I don't, I don't want to go through the entire tutorial again. I just want to see if he said anything different since I killed Blockner's. Betrayer's Shield Unlocked. Okay, that's cool. That uh, Maybe that'll come in handy. I also found that guy on the other run. Who are you? You're the not in the mood. Not in the mood, okay? I'm off duty. Now you have to make it down the hard way. Good luck. Alright, you guys don't have anything new. Tell me. Oh, there's Blockner's ghost. Alright, wait, we have to go talk to him. We have to go talk to him. Manny, it's been so long. You haven't uh changed a bit. Now that I've had my revenge, perhaps in time I can learn to forgive. See you around. You always were pretty pale. See you around. Okay. All right. Then they just repeat that over and over again. So we also found that weird blobby dude in the second floor that like talked in gibberish. I don't know if he's going to show up around here somewhere. That's still blocked up. Maybe he's in the acquisition acquisitions department. Greetings. Why was kind of shifting wealth below? All right. Nobody knew there. Let's see what guns. Hot lead. Sure. Why not? We got plenty of hedge money credits. Was this rocket powered bullets? That'd be cool. RPG, sure. I oh, wish you get all this stuff. Sure, why not? All right, there goes all our hedge credits. All right, well, we got some new guns in the dungeon. We made a pretty decent run of it this time. We got back down to the fourth floor. We found some cool stuff, unlocked some things. So I'm really happy about that. But that being said, I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please make sure to hit the like button down below and drop a comment in the comment section if you want to chat. Don't forget to share and subscribe. And as always, until the next video. Stay heavy, brothers.